Now it's really good to think about how things scale. Uh, so if we think back to say the map scaling problem, uh, if the map distance were to double, then the real world distance would also double. Uh, with our gas usage, let's see, where's our gas usage? Uh, with our gas usage problem, if the number of gallons doubles, then the number of miles we can drive doubles as well. And, and this is sort of a common feature of, of things that scale proportionally. But we really need to be careful about this, um, depending upon sort of what we scale with. So think about this case. Suppose you're tiling the floor of a 10 by 10 room, and you find out that 100 tiles will be needed. How many tiles are going to be needed to tile the floor of a 20 by 20 room? And you might be saying, well, the dimensions have doubled, and so we're going to need 200 tiles. But it turns out that the number of tiles doesn't scale with the width of the room or the dimensions of the room. Instead, it scales with the area of the room. You can think about it this way. Suppose here's my original room 10 by 10. Uh, then I double the width and the length of my room to 20 by 20. I'm not going to need twice as many tiles. I'm going to need four times as many tiles. And again, it's based on area. In this case, uh, we need 100 tiles for an area of 100 square feet. And so for an area of 20 by 20 or 400 square feet, I'm going to need 400 tiles, uh, which of course we could solve for uh, if we didn't know that by putting in a variable and then solving for it. Uh, so some things scale with length, some things scale with uh, area, some things scale with volume, and we just have to be careful which one's appropriate. Now, some quantities just don't scale well or proportionally at all. So, so for example, suppose a small company spends $1,000 on an advertising campaign, campaign uh, and gains 100 new customers from it. How many new customers should they expect if they spend $10,000? So it's really tempting to say that this is going to scale proportionally and that uh, if they spend 10 times as much, they're going to gain 10 times as many customers, so they're going to get 1,000 new customers. But it's unlikely that that's going to happen. Uh, advertising, uh, additional advertising doesn't tend to be as effective as, as initial advertising. Uh, plus, there may only be a limited number of customers. For example, if they're selling, you know, a hot tub, uh, there may only be a hundred people in town interested in buying a hot tub, uh, and so expecting more than a hundred new customers uh, w would be foolhardy. And so we really have to be careful to think about whether something does in fact scale proportionally before we start applying proportional approaches uh, to the problem.